A great Tuesday morning. Thanks for joining us on TVC Breakfast. I am Mike Okwache, and certainly I'm not here alone. I'm here with Super Sam Omashe. Good morning. Good, morning. <laughs> Good to see you. Same here. Great. It's been uh, a wonderful morning. But however, the, the point there is, uh, this can be seen as a season of endorsements mm -hmm. and a lot of people on one side will say, oh, why are you endorsing that candidate? Why mm. not this one? Mm. And then this one will say, why are you endorsing that candidate and not this one? I know he's been back and forth. Mm. But the most talked about right now is the uh, Afeniferi endorsement of uh, the presidential candidate of uh, the APC, yeah. Bola Ahmed uh, Tinubu. Mm. And that has still been generating a lot of buzz Interest, yeah. on social media. Yes. It says it's, uh, it's an interesting thing. Uh, it was uh, it was a way of taking the well I call it the shine or the infamy mm. out of um, uh, Ayo Adeba and just uh, purported uh, a fairy endorsement of um, of um, Peter Obi as uh, the uh, as their candidate. Yes, and uh, this has uh, this has uh, generated a lot of uh, furore and contempt mm. from uh, many uh, stakeholders in your land. Uh, so what happened? Uh, 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 the past few days was a case of uh, the henchmen of the Yoruba race coming together and coalition for Ashura Jubala Ahmed Tinubu. You had uh, um, all the governors, either where they are present or represented, mm -hmm. were there. You had, you had big names mm -hmm. there too. You had generals, former generals. You had, uh, you had chiefs. You had... Uh, um, uh, heavy politicians. Mm. They were all there. Captains of industry. Captains industries. of industry. Mm. They were all there. They all came there. Even a PDP governor mm. sent his representative there. Exactly. His deputy, his deputy <laughs> governor, <laughs> Lawa, oh, well, was there. Oh, your state. Okay, and mm. he gave a speech of endorsement. So, it, so when you have this coalition coming together to say, this is our man, they are speaking for the race. So where Ayo Adebanjo belongs, becomes in the periphery. He made himself an outcast in his own race because, because that is what it is. He was invited, mm. but why did he not show up? Yeah. That, <laughs> why did he not show up? Yeah. He should have gone there to say, I am the periphery, <laughs> and, and said that uh, Fasson Ronti, who he himself led installation as the head of uh, Afeniferi, as Ayo Adebanjo did, Everybody is 93 years old. You should understand that he has an elder hmm. in the... Of course. In the, in the <laughs> of Pastor Ronti. So if we are talking about gerontocracy here, he is, he is subordinate. <laughs> yeah. You say sir to him. And so, so I, think, I think the whole thing is all uh, uh, sour taste, uh, if, I, if I may say it. Um, I think the man, the man is not uh, aging gracefully. And you should learn to you should learn to understand that uh, when you have lost a battle, you say you say I surrender. Mm. But this man is not ready to do that. Well.